Hello, and uh, finally I have gotten this vehicle, vehicle I've been waiting 35 days for, and uh, how, how do I put this lightly, um, it's absolute crap, uh, let's just, I'm going to talk about the rewards that we got from this, and uh, potential improvements that can happen in the future, because honestly everything in this uh, list of uh, items that we've gotten over these uh, daily logins, don't, don't get me wrong, this idea is brilliant. I think this is an amazing idea. But it's just so poorly executed because the items we got for waiting 35 days, a month we waited for these cars, or well, this car, and it's just a heaping pile of dog crap. Alright, yes, it looked cool. It's a 6x6. I love 6x6s. But this is just atrocious, stats wise. Let's go over the rewards really quick, alright? So we have a various amount of rewards. We've got a donut gun skin, which I have on my scar right now. I am a hero, and this server is pretty dead. I might grind in the server a bit, but I need to get to rank 100. I'm almost there again. And I think this will get me the last um thing. Also, I want to bring something to the mad C devs' attention. See that mag? The mag has no thing on it. Like, I get because, you know, obviously you reload. But like the mag never is. They've gone to gun shop and then you go into like, well, where is a uh, scar? Look, the mag's not colored. That looks stupid. I don't like that. But anyway, there's the uh, the donut skin. So you have the donut skin. You got a bunch of XP. The XP was good. Uh, the spoiler. There's a bunch of customization options. We'll get that. Get to that. And then the car itself, which you saw a bit of it. Let's spawn the Nero. Everyone loves the Nero. Or actually, it's the Fury. I just got the Fury. Where is it? Fury. I don't have my favorites because I'm not going to use it that much. Anyway, uh, shop, which is good they actually can drive around because before you couldn't drive around, I definitely do like this. That you can drive around, it's cool, whatever. So I'm going to start off with the uh, the spoiler, which I thought was bad, but compared to the rest of the stuff we got this season, it was, yeah. So the rocket boost, this was ages ago, that's really small, but compared to these ones, this is a much better spoiler, wherever it is. Where is it? Jet engine. Like, I mean, it'd be cool if it had some effect, like maybe some a little bit of fire shooting out of it. Not when you boost, but just fire in general. Then I would probably more inclined to like this, but I, I just don't, didn't like it. I just didn't like it. It's just... I just didn't like it. I didn't like it. It's just as simple as that. It, I just didn't like it. Uh, yeah, well, that means okay. It's okay. And then we're going to move on to the uh, skins. And we're going to talk about the Rebirth skin first. God, we need a search bar at some point. This is the Rebirth. This is probably the best out of the two, but both of them are pretty tragic. Like, looking at this, this is kind of tragic. I mean, it looks cool on this car, but in general, across most cars, it just looks abysmal. What else? Alright, let's quick do a quick check. So, we'll talk about the Rebirth skin, and then we've got the, these, and the, for some reason there's no photo of this, probably because it's so awful that they couldn't have a photo of it. Boost! This is probably the best item of them all, because it actually looks good. Maybe, maybe, maybe. The Daystar, look at that. Look at that, that's a really good boost. And this car goes fast, this is a fast car. But anyway, I really do like that boost. Does it fit the, I kind of like the orange, you know, this. Oh, 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 on the gun shop. Oh, oh, I ramped it, don't worry. Then, the main three rewards that people really care about. The uh, dollar rims, which look absolutely Amazing. Honestly, I do like these ones. They're a bit big, but that's the reason why I like them. Like, looking at them. Oh, oh, little child. Like, they look big on this, but like, if I was to spawn something like, uh, the Infinity. There's the Infinity. I have it here. There it is. There you are. Probably one of my favorite vehicles, because it's really cool looking. And I wish they kept it, but they didn't. Another reason why I really don't like this chapter. Like, this looks good. If we had another monster truck, this would be my wheel of choice. But I don't want to put them on this, because I leave the infinity wheels, because it's what came with them. Like, look at that. Those look so nice on this. Like, they look a bit too big on other ones. They just look a bit too big. Alright, let's spawn uh, the brewery leaning, because we've got to talk about that. Where is it? doesn't even have a photo. Like, the photo's missing. Like, the invisible boat bill, that makes sense, because it's invisible. But this makes no sense why it doesn't have it. So also have the dollar rims on here, I had to raise the suspension, because this is this normal suspension. Why is it so low? The, the 6x6 is not this low. This is really how big it is. A bit lower than this, but this is how big it is. 
But anyway, uh, where is it? The skins. You haven't put boost on this. This is how awful this car is. I'm not going to use this car. I'm going to have it in my inventory, say I own it, and I'm never going to spawn it. Maybe, I don't know, just a flex or something. Maybe just to drive around just for fun. But practicality, it's not. And dreamy skin. God, this is so awful. Like, you could, you literally, I, I guess why some people, it may, it's, it's uh, I mean, it's not the, actually, I think it's the worst thing I've seen. It's just, it's just awful. This side is just awful. This, this pattern, you could just leave it at that, but that, that is just abysmal. I'm sorry, it's just, it's the truth. This skin is not that chop. And then, the Brulin. Oh, it's land on the post. The car that I've been waiting for so long, the 6x6. You know, I thought people said, oh, it's ugly, and I'm like, how can a 6x6 be ugly? 6x6s are beautiful. Now I get what that guy said. Look at the bumper, that looks so wrong. Compare this to the Carlos Bakun version. The, the Carlos Bakun version is so much beautiful. It's got an actual hood scope. It's got, it's just better looking. I hate picking at this game, but this is just serious. This is a problem. This is going to lead to the inevitable downfall of this game if they keep making bad rewards like this, keep giving us bad rewards. It's awful, like it's, it's awful. You grind, not really grind, you have to log in for 35 days. You have to wait 35 days to log in to get this car. There are people out there who can't get this car because they joined before, like they might have joined like 34 days before the end of the season. They can't, well actually I don't think that's coming because I, I believe that it's around, I think it's around, right, looking at the weeks, right, trying to calculate when this season ends, and I hope that season two is a much better season. Obviously, the dead's been a bit quiet. There's been, like, two updates this season, which is kind of appalling. Basically, I'm going to get to rank 100, get the, ma hopefully, the max commutator, and if not, then I'm going to grind to rank 100 again, which I'm going to do anyway, get the max commutator, and then just end the season off. I don't care if there's any animated skins, I'm not getting them because they suck, all right? This season sucks, all right? Like the first season in chapter one, it sucks, all right? But they're, but the thing was, this game has had so, there have been so many good seasons, season two. See, season two, season three was, I guess, okay. Season four was kind of good. Season five was where the downfall started for Mad City. Season six was kind of average, and season seven was like a small redemption because the rewards were slightly better. But in general, the season was just glitchy. And then season one, this one's been pretty abysmal. Lots of people love the game. And I get why people love the game, because it's, first of all, the rewards suck. These cars suck, all right? Like, let's look at the commutator, right? This vehicle sucks off the bat, straight. So look, right, the pipeline, a 1% chance of getting it, it sucks. The Brulin, 35 days, basically, of constant logging in, not almost constant logging in, but logging in sucks. This thing, when you get it, it sucks, right? Because it can upgrade five times, and there are people who are not even like these people. They will not get the max commutator, but I hopefully will. Now, I hope that it I can upgrade it, and then I don't know, it's it. Because I say there's five of them, and I've upgraded them like four times, so this should be the last, second last one. But anyway, it. the only reason people want the commutator is for the max version. No one cares about the first, second, third, or fourth prestige, whatever. The only thing they care about is the good stuff. They need, I hope that, like, I look, I like this wheel. This wheel is an amazing idea. These cool, I've liked the rewards on this. The spoiler, the two rims, they're amazing, but the car is so crap. The Brulin is crap. Or I'm just gonna call it the 6x6. It's absolute dog fire. Oh. <laughs> A heaping pile of absolute dog crap, because that's exactly what it is. And they just need it. I just hope that they step up their game next season. They have a really cool two sets of cars ready and roaring to go. They got a new wheel thing. I want this pipeline gone. I don't want to see it ever. If you remove it from my account, I don't care. I'm just kidding. Don't. But like, honestly, it's a cool looking vehicle. The pipeline's a cool looking vehicle. The Brulin, I mean, is kind of ugly, but it's a cool vehicle in general. You know, it's just so much grinding that I've had to do for these cars. Like, I've had to wait so long. I waited, like, ages. That video that I came out with, talking about that car that took my sanity and was absolute crap, that was legit. Basically, since literally day one I've been playing, well, a few hours after day one, and it took me that long. When that video came out, I literally got it that day, a few hours before I got it. So, basically, you calculate it. Start of the season, so look around when people started making videos on the game. Now that there's, like, not even many people making videos on the game, because it's crap. Alright, they need to change it. I'm I'm being 
you know, seriously, tough love. This needs to be some tough love because I like this game, but it needs to get some changes done. Better rewards, right? Next season better be popping off. There better be cool rewards. And every time we prestige, it says, uh, what? Wait, what does it say? It says, um, you know, prestige for extra rewards, which you think that once you prestige, you get a whole new set of rewards. So basically, you have here to season here. So once you get this, yeah, you get the mass mutator, you prestige and get a whole new set of rewards. That'd be cool. I personally think that'd be really cool because that means people can grind and you can have all these flexing items instead of just, I have the max commutator that's flexing enough. You have a bunch of items that you can be, that can be cool looking skins. We need cool looking skins because like this season, looking at these ones, right? I like this car, I like the U-Rock, the commutators, I guess, okay. This skin would be cool if the mag was colored, same along with this. Nitrous, these spoilers are kind of cool, I like them. The rims, the shutter rims, they're not the best. Uh, coil... Eh, uh, this one, these are cool rims. I definitely like them. Be cool. All these skins would be cool. I'd use them if the mags were colored. Talk up, talk up, this thing, best skin in the entire, um, season. There's no, there's nothing. It's just, it's a good skin. Graffiti, that's also a good skin. These, like, look, look. They went good for this. They were, like, thinking, oh, yeah, this is good. This is good. Up to here. This was the last good idea they had the entire season. Then they went, just get the car from Knight Rider and just slap it on there. It's good enough. Just get a Kamara, good enough. And then they're like, yeah, just just make this, honestly. It's almost like they used all their good thinking for the first few rewards, and then was like, nah, I'm too lazy to finish it off and get actually good rewards. Because it speaks volume for the daily rewards. This is cool. The dollar rims are cool. The brilliant was a cool idea for a vehicle, but you just poorly execute. If it just went a bit faster, or I don't know, what had good suspension, or was just a good vehicle in general, I thought acceleration was good because I'm like, oh yeah, you know, I'm using it. It's just a hard, it's a cool looking vehicle, but it sucks. All right, it's just, a, it's a genuine problem, genuine problem with this game that all these vehicles this season suck. All right, I mean we haven't. This is stuff we haven't seen in the past. This is not a new thing, right? The Porsche from the season rewards and the Veep. You grind an entire season to get them because they're part of the challenges. You complete your challenges, you get a vehicle. Let me spawn those vehicles really quick. These were probably some of the most hated vehicles ever. I think, I guess the Porsche wasn't, because the Porsche was like, oh, look at this cool thing. And obviously it wasn't the best, but just look at it. It was a nice looking car. It, it went semi fast. I mean, I think it's been buffed, maybe. Probably just be like, okay, I'm just gonna cover it up that these vehicles didn't suck. But like, you'd think for an entire season of grinding, we'd get, you know, a good car. I guess the commutator was like, probably the only idea they had that's like, yeah, just get this. The pipeline. Could be, could have been a good car, but like, there's no reason why that shouldn't be a good car. There is absolutely, I don't care. There is no reason why that car should not be good because, yes, it's a one percent chance. Yes, obviously some people got on the first day, and giving them an overpowered vehicle is not fair. But it's just making a fast car. You've done that stuff in the past. The Shredder and what is it, the Slayer? Both those vehicles were good, ve stupidly good vehicles, and you gave them for free. Like the boss fight wasn't okay. It was a bit hard, but like. With a good team, it wouldn't be that hard. I was, I would always team up with good teams because it was really difficult, and I beat it. Got good cars, and I, and I'm going on a rant right now because this is an absolute crime. I'll probably, I'll stick around to the end of the first season, and then I'll, let's hope that this next season we put in the past and we can go. That was just a season. It was just finding its kinks, you know. It was just fun. It was just ironing out all the bugs. We're getting rid of all the crap. And now season two is going to be an amazing season. We're going to get an amazing rewards, amazing daily challenges, even maybe even longer daily challenges. Uh, just we're going to get a good bunch of good stuff, a bunch of good stuff, right? Yeah, honestly. Also, this, this right here, this grass here. Yeah, this, that, there's a bunch of grass all over the place. I should make a video finding all the places where grass is glitched there, uh, near the GTR spawn, which is if you didn't know, it's somewhere else. It's just, you know, honestly. All right, I, I forgot about the Veep this thing it doesn't even look that good it literally does not look that good i mean i guess but like it doesn't look as cool as an actual jeep oh but i guess it got assembly fast but this for an entire season of grinding basically doing challenges that was appalling so anyway, yeah that that wraps up the video you know unfortunately the brulee as i predicted is absolute dumpster fire yes it's a cool vehicle you can you can roll around your friends with it. it's got six seats you know, it's a cool vehicle, but the thing is, right, there are some people in this game who probably, who could have missed a few, they could have went on vacation, two-week vacation. They'll probably miss it, right? They could miss it. Maybe 
because, oh, I gotta predict, I completely forgot about predicting. Alright, so let's say, okay, so we've got about a four week gap, which in a few hours this will change, and so it'll be a four weeks, alright, so four weeks, right? So it probably could be another month before the season actually ends, and that's another month of lots of pain, let's maybe like two weeks, two weeks. It's gotta be at least another week minimum, because people have to finish their challenges, but it's in the in the next month it'll be gone it'll be gone and I'm happy to say that this video has been going on for a while but I just want to really talk about this issue oh it's only 15 minutes oh, that's okay we'll talk for a little bit longer because there's still some points I do want to bring up like you know these cars suck my personal suggestion is that you get your beta testers to actually test out the vehicles right get people to actually test out the vehicles I will volunteer myself to test these vehicles and have my honest opinion because I've reviewed a few cars and I plan to review even more cars and I plan to review some Mad City cars before the end of the season. I'm gonna review everything and I'm gonna say what's good, what's bad, and let's hope that on season two some of those vehicles get changed. All right, like the Thunderbird, it's not a bad car, but there are some problems with it. There's a lot of problems in Mad City right now, and I do not like addressing these problems because this game has been stuck around this game since the, like the, almost the end of season four. That's like, getting close to three years ago. That's, that's, I think it's three years ago. Like, man, that's, we're getting close to almost three years of me playing this game. Three years. Oh, crap. There's also another video I'm probably going to do after this video. So, um, I might have to quickly wrap this one up, and I'm going to do another video literally instantly after. But anyway. Oh, they just, they need to do something about these cars. This absolute dumb supply. Get, get this out of my face. Alright, it looks kind of cool in the daylight, but this thing, just, just get this out of here. I don't want it. You can't even change the tint, not even the boost. You can't even put a spoiler on this thing. Like, I don't know, it's a bit of a spoiler back here. And for some reason, this, there's no hitboxes for these things, even though they're here. But even though you sit at the back, it's stupid. But anyway, I'm gonna do another video, and I'm just gonna ramble about something else. But anyway, I already know the idea. But anyway, back to Thank you for watching and please change this and goodbye.